well, change plans. Um, we're going to, uh, I got about, I don't know, it's gonna only like 25 to 50 gallons left. He wants to uh, unfold completely so the outer booms are out and just run some of this stuff through it. So that we flush out all the corn spray before we go crazy with beans. It's just a matter of making sure you cycle through. If there's enough, this is the field that's going to get dusted a little bit. But if there's not enough, we'll just uh, mix her up a little bit and the beans will get a little shot of nitrogen help them along a little bit. Don't want to do too much though, you'll burn the beans. So, at least that's what I've been told. So, cruising back, uh, and then uh, I'm gonna drop the Y drops. Those babies are coming off, it's only been on. We put them on Monday at noon, and I went from about three o'clock to eight o'clock that night, three o'clock to 8.30 or so. Tuesday I went from about one o'clock, but I didn't get in the field till probably two, to about nine. And then today I got in the field, I left the bins at 5 with this thing, and it is currently 7.30 and I'm almost back to the bins, and I did 225 acres today. Boom! Just like that, and uh, yeah, so things went well. Let's see here, do some math. Yeah, I put on about 17 gallons an acre today. A little on the low side, but I kind of had to have my speed up in a couple spots to blast through some mud. So when you speed up, if you don't increase your pressure, PSI to get more to the booms, well then obviously you're not putting as much down. So 17 and 18 uh, gallons an acre, good stuff. Corn's gonna drink it up, and uh, it's gonna sit. You know, and tomorrow they're talking a cloudy morning and then rain for sure. They better not be pulling my leg this time like they did uh, for today. But it's like an 80 or 90% chance already for tomorrow afternoon. So maybe we'll get a batch of beans sprayed or not. Uh, it'd be nice to get over that first 120 acres. And then um, we'll go from there. So we'll check you later. All right, just turn the middle section off so the Y drops aren't going. And now the uh, misters are. We're running a little 28. I actually got closer to like 75 gallons left. I'm gonna go back out and spray that field. We just wanna run this till there's no more. Now this is gonna put me at like 235 acres for the day. Should be running out any second. I'm going a little slower just cause I only have a certain amount of the field that I can spread on. So it's putting it up at, you know, well it's probably more at like the 20 gallons an acre right now where it says 23. I'm gonna be running out any second here. I figured there was like 120 gallons. I've got about seven acres through it right now. So maybe I was a little hot, maybe I was a little low, I guess. It's so hard to tell and the light's not shining bright, you can't see the gauge, you just kind of look down the top. I'm just trying to guesstimate. But this is it, I highly doubt we're gonna do one more pass. I, I don't know if the weather's gonna cooperate for it. He usually just does it once. Um, we're just trying to give that corn a little boost just because Mother Nature's been pounding it. The corn's been having such a tough time breaking through the crust everywhere. A lot of guys are wide dropping right now. So, there's an odd row here, we'll turn sharp. Uh, a lot of guys are all wide dropping the uh, co-op sets, so that's why we were waiting a couple times today, but we got the big 8970 put away. Boom, there it went. Wide drop season's done. Uh, we got the 8970 put away and unhooked from the cross finisher. We got the uh, 8870 and the drill pulled in the shop or shed. Um, we're gonna spray it off. Probably both those rigs, you're gonna get a bath here. Um, so we gotta do all that stuff, but just to get them out of the elements because Mother Nature looks like it's gonna rain, rain, rain. So I'm glad I pushed. Gives that you know, nitrogen just a little, you know, you know, you know it's gonna have at least uh, 12 to 18 hours to soak in before the rain comes. The rain will help push the nitrogen down to the roots and off it goes. So the fields have come a long ways. It's really dry, it's soaking up the nitrogen right off the bat. So I'm happy with the way the nitrogen went on. Um, he's got some corn truck this week and a few other tasks taken care of. So 
No, I'm back to work tomorrow, so I'm gonna sleep in because I didn't even sleep much last night because I got out here at 4.30 or just before five or so. So I'm tired. Oh, I'm gonna go, we're gonna take all the Y drops off right now. There's three of us, the other guy came over after his other guy, we're just gonna pound him off here quick, so. He's actually calling me right now, so I'll check you later. So there's four filters, one, two, three, and then one big one on the bottom that we just uh, cleaned out <clears throat> from the corn chemicals. And uh, sprayed out the tank from the inside with a hose. He's got about 100 gallons in there. And we're gonna fold it out. Let's see, he had a remote kick out on. No, there they go. You guys can see how a Shabin sprayer folds out 90 foot booms. We're kind of cramped here between the burn barrel and the tank. One of the tanks is because there's power lines right here. So I spun all the ones that we were using. You can see this. I'm not gonna grab them because my hands are clean. But there's try. You could have different nozzles on here. And they literally just, you don't have to click anything, you just spin them. And when they're in the downwards facing position, that's when those that style is on. So we got them all on the yellow all the way back down now where the Y drops were. The outer wings were left that way. Field goal post. Foot booms makes it a lot bigger, huh? And he's gonna start probably running it through the, the booms here. There's the pumps on. Yep. Oh, I've missed one. See it? I left it in the wide drop position. See if I can, I'll tell him to stop a second. I got one I forgot to switch. <coughs> While I'm standing right in the wind, after I switch this, I'm moving. <coughs> you can feel the Clorox bleach. Watch. Click. That's it. You gotta be careful with chemicals. I'm overly cautious about wiping my hands off. I'm overly cautious, but that's probably, that's a good thing. So we're all cleaned up. We'll let it run for a while. And uh, he'll be good to spray beans, hopefully in the morning if the weather cooperates. And I'm not walking any further. <laughs> I'm getting bleach again. So, short video.